Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Thursday, the 9th of July, 2020. We are using Tarot of the Old Path for our message today. We have two cards off the bottom of the deck. This is the energy charging the atmosphere for us today. Our first of the two is Ten of Pentacles. Oh, how nice. Mm. This is the energy we have on offer to share, spare, and invest. And where are we going to do all of that? Where are we doing it is a great question too. Ten of Pentacles is considered a legacy card. It's what we have to pass on. It's our inspiration, wisdom, knowledge. In practical matters, it's you know material, property, what we have to spare and share there as well. Though I'm taking it spiritual because... It's our beingness that we do all the sharing from. It's our soulfulness, our presence. And this is a great card to have us questioning where we make the investment of our soulfulness. Where are we bringing that? How are we celebrating that? Is it fulfilling and satisfying to us? Uh, coming with it, also before I move on to the next card, Tens and tarot are about fulfillment and satisfaction. So we've reached a level of fulfillment and satisfaction or we're bringing something into completion because we are fulfilled and satisfied with hmm, the level of experience that we have with it. So now we're ready to open up, to expand, to see what's on the next horizon with this. So with a 10 here, it means we reset back to ace. So this is the ace of pentacles to the power of 10. Isn't that beautiful? All right, coming alongside it is, oh, holy cow, look at that. Another 10 in the 10 of cups. These are two of the happiest tens in tarot. Fulfillment, satisfaction, joy, mm, happy homes, happy lives, happy families, brilliant clarity, love, shared love, expressed love with friends, family, beloved most especially with self. The Ten of Cups is another card for me that is akin to turning over the sun. And I'm glad to see it here because not only is it fulfillment and completion in confirmation to our Ten of Pentacles, something of the material, something of the world, how we are with something in the world has reached a point of fulfillment for us. And so we're ready to expand our experience of it or we are ready to move on from it. It's simply another example of the tarot cards showing us what death and high priestess have been showing us. There's plenty on our foundation that has outlived its purpose and now it's time for it to be recycled back into pure raw love. We'll come back to it, of course. We will repurpose it, of course, but it is time to elevate expand and upgrade frequency and we have beautiful energy in which to do it let's see what the next two cards are first is five of wands okay inner debates inner arguments chewing on something so yeah we're passionate about it because it's the suit of wands we we've got something stuck in our craw is a great way to put it and we are trying to sort that out because it feels disharmonious and unstable to us. And we will. We'll sort it. But what better energy to do it in with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups? Because you've been choosing happiness on repeat. And that is upgrading your life in all kinds of ways. So anything unlike that life experience is going to come to your attention great time to do it right here in a mercury retrograde wouldn't you agree so review take a look at things and see what needs settling and sorting coming with this ooh, another card that's no joke here three of swords pain loss and sorrow of the past yeah yeah that may still be having a bit of an influence on the now so Aren't you really happy to see those two tens above these two cards? Because it lets you know that you have what it takes to settle this out. This feels completely unlike these two tens. 
And so now it's time for you to do the harmony work. So if you're telling yourself an old story, an old tale, you've got an ego mantra going here. If you are questioning your investment in things, uh, and it leaves you feeling unstable and it resurrects feelings of the past that are less than ideal for you, that you have had to journey through, grow through, heal through, then you know you have more work to do on it. Do it with compassion, non-judgment, kindness. There's plenty of that on offer with those two tens. Pour that energy all over yourself in this situation and recognize that the instability of the five and the pain, loss, and sorrow in the thought realm on the three of swords are just coming up so they can be allowed safe passage off your foundation. Little reminders that, that, that give you the nudge to say, hey, look, you have a whole new set of skills, tools, intentions. What are you putting your attention on? Is it some old story that you've been telling yourself? And is it really just here so you can let it go for once and for all? Consider that. Let's see what's next. The Empress. Oh, how beautiful. Gosh, look how gorgeous this card is. Self-care and nurturing right there. Consider the Empress taking the posture of how we do self-care. What if she is representative of us taking care of ourselves? What kind of nurturing do we require in this arena and in this environment? And know that you have it here in these two tens to give yourself. She is abundance, beauty, vitality, fertility. She is thriving energy, the mother of the tarot. She is gentle changes. There's nothing here that has to be harsh. Nothing at all. It's how we choose to handle whatever is passing. So let's give it the kind of nurturing and it deserves and allow it to be the gentle change that it is and allow it to be the answered prayer that it is also. Because we asked for this. We asked for an upgrade. We intended for an upgrade. And now we've got to give ourselves what we require to do the upgrade by letting that go. Mm. And then we have Seven of Wands. Not surprised to see that. A little bit of defensiveness right there. This is us taking a stand against something and maybe doing a little bit of ego posturing as it is making its way out the door, you know? <laughs> The, seven, in, the sevens in tarot are about heaven touching earth within us. That's happening, and you see it happen here with the Empress. When I see the seven of wands, I think on the six of wands, which is victory, homecoming to the self, which you have right here in the Empress. I love that she's in the middle of the reading because she is sandwiched by this kind of energy, and she is the transformation of this energy right here. So I think on the Six of Wands, uh, and we've seen it this week, I believe. I think it was on Monday we had the Six of Wands. But victory, success, homecoming to your own self, a little bit of notoriety, which is noticing that you have made a change. And when you notice that you've made a change, things that are unlike that, that you still harbor, show up. Five of Wands, Three of Swords. So... These are not cringe cards. These are more like hallelujah cards because, whoa, I see that. Now I can let it go, right? There's a bit of defensiveness, though. There may be a little bit of justification going on here. There may be a little bit of right fighting within your own self. Like, I'm right, I want to be right, and I'd like someone to notice I'm right. <laughs> That's how we love the ego <laughs> and nurture it. We give it its moment. We give it its validation. And then we come back to our Empress self. We come, we come to our tens over here, right? That's what we do. <laughs> Coming with, yeah, the lone man or the hanged man here. Now, not the first time we've seen this card this week either. And his message is all about trust your enlightenment, pause in the action. So yeah, take your moment of validation here. Have a, give your ego a moment to posture and thank it, have gratitude and acceptance for it, right? But come into your enlightenment, pause in this action and reflect on your tens because it's the ten energy in which all of this other energy is going to filter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that right there. And 
we are going to go into our contemplative questions again. You all seemed to like that the other day, so I'm bringing it back. First deck, Angels and Ancestors, simple question is, what more may I know about my skills and my talents? <laughs> what have I yet to consider? Let's see what this deck has to say to us. I'm just going to pull one right out of the middle. Ooh. Oh, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck, too. The Seer. See beyond the current situation. Yes. So I'm going to connect that for a moment to your five and your three, as well as your seven down here on the table. See beyond the situation because you are already beyond the situation. But what have I not considered about my skills, my talents? What more can I do? What more can I know, right? Know that your gifts, your talent, your skill is supernatural, beyond the natural. Yeah, consider that your intuition is nothing ordinary. It's super. Where can it take you? Ask that of your intuitive gifts. Oh, you can't see that. All right, next contemplative question. <laughs> what gateways, what doorways am I stepping through as I deliberately choose happiness? This comes from the Gateway Oracle. Mm. We're back to manifestation here. Planting seeds. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. Well, they've been planted. My feeling is they're emerging. So choose your manifestation to expand and broaden your... What did I just say? <laughs> I totally lost track. Oh my goodness. Choose, yes, choose what you're manifesting for. What's in your heart space? The seeds are already planted there. And if you want to see beyond the situation and you want to bring your profound intuitive gifts to it, do that. What more can you know about the happiness that you are cultivating here? Hmm? And allow the divine all that is to inform you, give you the download. All right, next, uh, Angels of Atlantis deck, asking what angel would like to work with us today. And we have Raphael with the energy of cleansing. That's going on here in your five, your three, and your seven. Mm -hmm. Just allow that to happen. Have gratitude, have acceptance. <laughs> Believe in yourself. You brought yourself here. You have come this far. Imagine what awaits you on the next horizon. And when you have an atmosphere of two tens, like the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, and you know that you are the instrumental point, uh, part of making all that happen, and you know that you have even more seeds of happiness out there for manifestation, on their way into you, you definitely want to be tuning in with your supernatural intuitive gifts and see beyond this current situation because a while back you couldn't see the goodness that is unfolding in this now. Consider the oncoming, the blossoming now. All right. Thank you everyone as always for watching and I appreciate your patience with the July monthly readings. They are all uploaded. I have a little bit of polishing to do before they are launched. I hope to have that done <laughs> and attached to the end of this video for you. Again, thank you for your patience. Peace, love, joy, blessings, happiness to each and every one of you. Bye for now and namaste.